each one of us, if, if God forbid we get a serious illness, and none of us know when or how. I didn't ever imagine it would be me, non-smoker, relatively good eater, worked out every day, that if it happens, God forbid, each of us is entitled and deserves the best possible care, not just of our body, but of our spirit and our soul. Bridget Spence has battled a lethal disease and the indifference of caregivers for many years. Ultimately, she found solace with Ann Partridge, a doctor at Dana-Farber, who showed her and her family real compassion. I was a senior at Boston University and I found a lump in my breast. I went to a nurse practitioner who told me that it was nothing that I needed to worry about because I was 21 years old and had no family history. So it wasn't until about seven months later that I was finally sent for a mammogram and that was when they found out that I was actually stage four. I had a tumor in my liver as well. So those six months when I wasn't being treated, um, it, it was a very aggressive cancer. So it, it had big, big consequences that I wasn't handled quickly. So many doctors that I had seen before treated me like out of the box. And they were the ones who said, there's nothing we can do for you. Get your affairs in order. You're gonna be in chemo for the rest of your life. I would be surprised if you reached 30. It was really hard things to hear. I've been on chemo every three weeks for six years. I've been on probably 15 different drugs and had seven surgeries and I'm just fighting, but I have a really great team. From the beginning, Dr. Partridge has always been just wonderful and competent, and I always feel better when I see her, even when the news is really bad, and it's been really, really bad sometimes, and I always just feel much better once I've had the chance to talk to her. And she's never dismissive of my concerns because it's hard enough dealing with cancer. It's even harder going to the grocery store and having people stare at you. Well, I think Bridget is an incredible woman. She's an incredibly brave person. And you know, just like many of my patients, I admire their strength and their grace when they're dealing with such difficult situations. And Bridget in particular is, is one of my heroes. I think where the compassion lies is in both having empathy for them, but also in understanding that not everybody's gonna feel the same way about any given treatment or the disease itself. Dr. Partridge has always been very gracious with including my parents and my now husband in every conversation, but also saying, we're going to have an exam now, so why don't you leave? And then she'll close the door and say, how do you really feel? I know you can't tell them how scared you really are because they're invested in this. She also knows that this involves the whole family. So she would, when I was getting married, she would say, this is a huge commitment that you're making. Why don't I meet with Alex? Why don't I talk to him? Does he need anything? She takes into account that Bridget's a human being, and she has a life outside of, of beating cancer as well. We genuinely appreciate everything that, that Dr. Partridge has done for us. She's been more than a physician. She's been more than just a caregiver. I think that I'm going to be here for a long time, and I'm going to write a book, and definitely adopt a beautiful child from the inner city streets of Boston <laughs> and save someone's life and have a beautiful family. <laughs>